Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I was sent this beautiful game with a lot of buzz. It's Bees the Secret Kingdom by Van Ryder Games and Awaken Realms Light. Random fact, one bee has to fly 90,000 miles, which is three times around the globe, to make one pound of honey. In this game, you'll be collecting nectar from neighboring flowers and making honey. The goal of the game is to become the busiest busy bee and produce honey worth the most victory points. On your turn, you'll be able to choose to collect either nectar or to produce honey. When collecting nectar, which you will be doing a lot at the very beginning of the game, you will draw two cards from the gathering deck and you will choose one of them to play. The player who chose the card will take the color of pollen listed on the top right of that card. All other players will be getting nectar as well and they will be choosing one color pollen gem listed on the bottom left of the card. At times, all the other players might be stuck with just one color choice, and at other times, you can choose between two colors. If the active player chooses the card that shows one of each pollen color, then all other players will also collect the four gems, one of each color. Whenever you have enough pollen gems with colors that match the requirements on a honey card, you can take the produce the honey action, on your turn. You will pay the pollen by the discarding the gems shown on the card and take your newly acquired precious honey. If a requirement shows a gray symbol with a flower, then any color pollen can fulfill its requirement. When producing honey, you will receive the number of victory points shown on the top left. Also, if there's a text action on that card, then you will perform it. These actions can change your pollen gems or it might give you even another turn. Honey cards will stay in front of each player and all players will have access to see how many points that each player has. Each player takes turns until the last honey card is drawn from the honey deck. When this happens, every player takes one more turn. After that, players count victory points on their honey cards and they add one point for every three pollen gems that they still have and the player with the most points wins the game. This game is very light and the choices are very easy to make. The game is more suitable for when you want a game, but nothing that will kind of hurt your brain. But beware, you might get lost while playing the game as you most likely will be mesmerized by the colorful and lovely art. Now I'm a board game player whose eyes go straight to the icons and figure out the puzzle and the mechanics in the game. But in this game, my eyes kept wandering from the corners of the cards to the middle. And all the honeycomb art on the honey cards reminded me that one day I want to have some bees and some hives. And I hope that the honey and the honeycomb looks just as amazing as it does on these cards. The mechanics in this game is nothing new, but I did like the variety of cards they included. I always felt like I wasn't getting repeats. There still is some strategy in the game by picking your own pollen gems while simultaneously choosing what all other players might get as well. The honey cards have different point values and actions that you can strategically choose from. Essentially, whatever honey card you're going after also gives you that bonus as well. Now, the game does provide an advanced mode that places three beehive cards out with added victory points or conditions or special rules. This causes that your choices will be a little harder to make, but it still keeps the game light. If you are looking for a lighter game that includes beautiful art, then this is your game. I'm actually really excited to teach my daughter this and I know that she will keep asking me to play it. Keep flapping your wings for the 90,000 miles to make that pound of honey while playing Bees the Secret Kingdom by Van Ryder Games and Awaken Realms Light. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table. The game is just beautiful.